Okay, it's Pete Hopkinson here from Bolton Live. It's the end of the Bolton Bins meeting. Sir, have you just been to the Bins meeting? Yeah. Have you got a set for the local press? Um, I spoke to you later. Okay, wonderful. Um, it seems that the council have told everyone they've only got the room till 9 o'clock, when we have actually been told they've got it till 10. So we're going to see what's going to be happening all the way through. Um, there's also been a bit of a... What was that about the councillor? Um, well, the lady asked a question about, about her bins not being emptied, and the councillor said, well, how do you know my bins haven't been emptied? Um, her response to that was, because my friend lives in the same street as you, next door, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it's we so go, so then. That kind of proves really, the point that we're looking for. <laughs> We've got a load of people coming out, so let's see if we can just grab some random people coming all the way through. Guys, we've been to the bins meeting. What do you think? What do we think? Do you mind having a chat with Bolton Live, we're on the main TV station? Basically, they've not allowed us in the main room. Oh, yeah. So what have they said? Uh, basically, uh, they've said that they apologise and they'll try harder. Is that's, that it? That's in a nutshell, yeah. What, do you actually believe that that's what's going to happen? Sir? Um, well, I, uh, I th- they need to be better at consultation. Yes. Um, there's been poor consultation so far. Uh, there needs to be better consultation in the future. Um, I think uh, the only person who genuinely believes that is Sean Harris. I think the others are struggling a bit. They've been promising this over the phones, even in personal, and that's all they've done. We've asked them questions, they've answered it. It's just waiting game whether they will carry out what they've promised. The old systems are not work yet. No, that was so never perfect. Tweaking so. business is rubbish. We all, one thing is resolved that we'll be getting our bins emptied. Yeah, you we will. All, will. We, we all, we all. <laughs> Billy and me work together and we've got 60 years service in emptying bins in Bolton. All right, okay. And the thing that annoyed me was the fact that we tried to get across to people the fact they're asking questions why are these bins not being emptied here and here. The bins aren't being emptied in certain parts because three vehicles have been taken out of service due to saving £400,000. I think we've got yeah. to be honest and say oh, yes, we yeah. thank the public for their support. Pete Hopkinson, finally glad to meet you. How do you think your meeting went tonight? It was enlightening, it was quite good, it was uh, lively and uh, people asked questions and we answered them to the best of our ability. I have children and I live on Chorley Old Road and my bins went empty for three days so I phoned the council offices and they sent a small van out just to empty my bin but left the entire street. Why was that? Because the, you'd rang up to ask that your bin hadn't been emptied. Probably the rest of the street hadn't rung up and said yeah, there's hadn't been emptied. I can understand but that, but, they, but, they, but we pay council tax and these things should actually come on as part but, of the council but tax. But we understand that, but don't forget that it's a new system. I understand it's Nobody a new likes system. change and let's not pretend that this never happened before. Oh, yeah, it did. I understand you know these things have happened well. before. Oh, of course I uh, understand. And, you should, uh, and, we're, and we're trying to get the round sorted out so that every bin's got to be empty within the borough. What about the dissent in the actual been operatives with those. Well, because I understand that they've, they've, we should have a nice little chat with them for about five minutes about their workflows and things, about the system that they're well, completely we're, we're, unhappy with. Well, that, that's fair enough, but no one likes change. We will look at that, but no one likes change. Hmm. And we have been in dialogue with them. Within the first week and a half of introducing well, it started system, the complaints against the bin rates, about the bin mounds, as far as we're aware, rose about, about 70%. No, it, well, and all right, and since then, they've backed down to what they were before. But there's still streets that haven't had their bins emptied in ten weeks. Uh, well, we no, well, I don't think there are any streets that have their bins. We've if spoke someone... to the lady on the camera. She said basically they can't seem to find Bevy Road. Well, they don't the get that. Go- just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. That's been going on for six years. I understand that. That's before the reorganisation. Well, exactly, no. You're saying that like a six, that's been going on for six years. That's like what that's she normal. said today. It's not. And it shouldn't happen. Right. And Berry, Berry Road is being emptied. Right. So it shouldn't it happen. So you're saying that the bins are a disaster. I'm saying they're not. Right. I'm saying that 95% of our borough are getting the bins empty, 95%. Five, between three and five percent are not, and that's not right, and we apologise to those people. So we have to get that three to five percent put right. Okay, so it's all and that's sorted, what, say, within six uh, weeks. And, so. that, and that's what we intend to do. Can I answer any of your questions? They lied, they lied a lot through the chief, our bosses. About all, he he went on a lot about Percentages, figures, incorrect. It's in the paper that... There's only 5% of uh, the refuge not being collected. Uh, there's 19 domestic roads that I know of who are not completing at least 20 to 30%, so where are they getting 5%? Hello, it's Pete Hopkinson here, back at the BIM meeting, and hopefully my last interview, so I can go home. Um, we've got Yasmin here, who's the Labour Party candidate for Parliament for this year, for Bolton uh, South. 
East. Yes. East, South East. Yeah. So how did the meeting go? Oh, I think it's going very well, although I think sometimes perhaps people were being a little bit too emotional. But I mean, I can understand further they haven't had their bills collected. Uh, but they did try to explain as to why. Uh, and I think what's happened is the council officials and the leader have taken things on board. And I'm sure in the next few days or a few weeks, things will improve. Clearly, they have said a new system is being implemented. They often tend to be teething problems with new systems as they come in. And it seems about 3 to 5% of people have had a problem. There's been apologies. Now, I mean, I do believe council, when they said they genuinely brought this into place, because it will be uh, money-saving eventually, and, you know, they should be able to save about £5 million in the space of 10 years or something. Yeah. Thank you so, so much for talking to us. I would just like to say to our viewers, if you still have problems with your bins, you have our contact numbers, you have our emails, email us and we will pass them over to the Council Press Office and see what they can do for you. I'm Pete Hopkinson from Bobson Live and thank you and good night.